welcome dear students so in this video we solve one problem related to radial and transverse coordinates so this is our problem the 3 kg collar is rest on arm a a dash and this collar is held in the place with the help of this rope attached to the drum and it rotates about point o this is point o in the horizontal plane the linear velocity of this collar is given as this v is equal to 0.2 t square we need to find the tension in the rope and the force that will be exerted on the collar after 5 seconds so first we will draw the fbd and kd then we will write the equations of motion and then we will determine the kinematics and then we will combine the equation of motions with the kinematic relationships and solve for the unknowns so now the solution so we have given this v we have given this distance r and uh, we need to find t and d so first we will draw the fbd and kd so here is the fbd we have two unknown forces tension and this reaction force and this is the kd of the problem now we will write the equations of motion so we will write the equations of motion in normal and tangential directions so summation of fn will be equal to man and summation of ft will be equal to mat so in the normal direction we has this force n and in the radial direction we have this t so n is equal to m v square upon r and t is equal to m dv by dt now we will write the kinematics for this problem so this we have is given v so we can calculate the acceleration by differentiating this okay so at is simply dv by dt which will be equal to 2 meter per second square and the acceleration in the normal direction you can calculate by using this relation for normal and radial motion so that is equal to v square by r okay so here we have denoted r by rho so this v is 5 and this r is 0.4 so now we have calculated both the accelerations now we substitute the values into the equations so these are the two equations so when you will substitute the value n comes out to be 187.5 newton because m we know 3 an we have just calculated when we multiply this the answer is this similarly you can calculate t which is 6 newton now let us consider the situation if uh, the motion of the uh, this uh, block is in vertical plane so in that case you need to add mg term because in the vertical direction this force will also act and in that case so because this force will act in vertical direction and it will make an angle theta with normal so you also need to calculate the theta okay another question is when is the tangential force greater than the normal force okay so that will be true only at the very beginning when your body just starts to accelerate okay then your tangential force will be greater than normal force otherwise in most of the application this normal force is much much greater than the tangential force now here is a concept question for you suppose a car is driving from this point a and following this path up to the point d okay and this is the curved path and the driver is going uh, uh, according to these instructions at a 
it is moving at constant speed at P it is tapping the accelerator at C it is stepping on the brake and at D again it is stepping on the accelerator so we need to draw the appro approximate directions of the car's acceleration at each point okay so at A because your car is moving at the constant in P, uh, constant speed so the acceleration will be in radial direction okay and at B it is in the tangential direction in the same direction as your vehicle is moving and at C you are applying in the brake so the direction of the acceleration will be just reversed and again when you are applying the acceleration at D so again in the horizontal direction so these are the directions in which uh, your uh, body will face so this is all video thanks for watching have a nice day